Hi, now we are going to learn on how loads flow or transfer through a building. At the end of this lesson, students should be able to transfer load in structure. Understand the basic concepts of the type of load to be transferred. They are gravity load path and lateral load path. Multiple elements are used to transmit and resist external loads within a building. These elements define the mechanism of load transfer in a building known as the load path. The load path extends from the roof through each structural element to the foundation. An understanding of the critical importance of a complete load path is essential for everyone involved in building design and construction. The load path can be identified by considering the elements in the building that contribute to resisting the load and by observing how they transmit the load to the next clairement. It's depending on the type of load to be transferred, there are two basic load paths. They are gravity load path and lateral load path. Both the gravity and lateral load paths utilize a combination of horizontal and vertical structural components. Gravity load is the vertical load acting on a building structure. These including dead load and live load due to occupancy or snow. Gravity load on the floor and roof slabs is transferred to the columns or walls, down to the foundations, and then to the supporting soil beneath. Figure shows an isometric view of a concrete structure and a gravity load path. The lateral load path is the way lateral loads mainly due to wind and earthquakes which are transferred through a building. The primary elements of a lateral load path are as follows. Vertical components, shear walls and frames, and horizontal components, roof, floors, and foundations. Figure shows a reinforced concrete structure and the elements constituting the lateral load path, roof and floor systems. 1. Transfer the load to the walls. 2. Which in turn transfer the load to the foundations. 3. Roof and floor systems, also called diaphragms, take horizontal forces from the stories at or above their level and transfer them to walls or frames in the story immediately below. The tributary area is related to the load path, and is used to determine the loads that beams, girders, columns, and walls carry. The tributary area for a beam or a girder supporting a portion of the floor is the area enclosing the member and bounded by the lines located approximately halfway between the lines of support, columns or walls, as shown in figure. Thank you for your attention. You are awesome.